So we have the ability to serve ads to people that are half a mile around a GameStop location or who are in a particular zip code or who are likely to be uh, Hispanic moms in a certain neighborhood. Welcome to the Inside Forbes Council's podcast. Each episode shares transformative insights and advice from members of Forbes Councils, a group of invitation-only communities for successful executives and entrepreneurs. This is Inside Forbes Councils. Hello, and welcome to episode 18 of the Inside Forbes Councils podcast. My name is Stephen Ganoza. Chatbots, AI, VR, AR, and other technologies will continue to mature in 2019. Today, several of our Forbes Councils members will share their thoughts on how these emerging technologies are marketed and how they can be used in marketing. Hey, my name is Robert Brill. I am the founder and CEO of BrillMedia.co. And I think the most interesting thing that's happening in the marketplace today for marketers is that digital advertising is accessible to everyone. Um, Everyone can log into Facebook and into YouTube and to Google, have access to some really powerful platforms. Uh, And when marketers work with us, they get access to tools that aren't necessarily available on those platforms, such as hyperlocal data, audience data from big data companies like Oracle, Nielsen, and Axiom. Another most interesting sort of relevant topic in digital advertising today is that a lot of media that isn't traditionally associated with digital advertising is becoming easily accessible and digitalized. So what I mean by that is through our ad buying platforms, we have the ability to buy advertising on out of home ads. So uh, transit shelters, restaurants, salons, gyms, billboards that you see on the side of the freeway. These advertising placements are bought using automation We upload the creative to an ad buying platform, we set up the targeting, and the ads run every 8 to 15 seconds across a very targeted landscape, right? So we have the ability to serve ads to people that are half a mile around a GameStop location or who are in a particular zip code or who are likely to be uh, Hispanic moms in a certain neighborhood. And all of this targeting is really made possible by the fact that data is infused and that data is part of that digitalization of what was once known as traditional media. Traditional media being radio, television, and digital out of home. So when we propose digital advertising campaigns and when we talk about digital advertising campaigns, what we are talking about really is anything that lives on a mobile device, on a desktop, on a digital out of home board, local audio. So if you're in Los Angeles and you're listening to the digital audio stream of Power 106, we can serve you an ad within that digital audio stream on iHeartRadio and certainly uh, televisions. So people who are watching connected televisions, who are watching Roku, who are watching digital apps like um, A&E and HGTV on their connected television, our ads appear on those placements. And what's more is that we can tie back ads that appear on television to a desktop or mobile conversion, meaning we can serve you an ad on your connected television, connect your household data together, and now we know that if you saw an ad on your television, then the next day you went to the website and made a purchase or submitted your email, we know that the origination of that conversion or of that transaction that you did came from the connected television advertising. So I think a lot of this is not known to small and mid-sized marketers and our job is to evangelize the capabilities. That's essentially how we sell. So I don't do much to sell us, I sell our industry. I sell the fact that did you know there's an entire landscape of digital advertising that is addressable, that is powerful, that drives actual business results and I think if you don't meet us, if, you don't, if you're a small or mid-sized marketer and you're not talking to someone, a company like us, and, and frankly, I don't know who else does the type of stuff that we do and, and, and makes it available to small and mid-sized marketers. 
Um, a lot of this stuff is available for big advertising agencies. So if you have $100 million to spend or $10 million to spend uh, in a year, uh, big advertising agencies love to do this type of addressable, programmatic advertising for their clients. Uh, but a lot of this is not available to small and mid-sized marketers, and, and that's the niche that we fill. So I'm Robert Brill, founder and CEO of Brill Media. Thank you. This has been Inside Forbes Councils. Please be sure to subscribe to us on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. If you're a member of the Forbes Councils and would like to participate in our podcast series, please email your member concierge. If you're interested in joining a Forbes Council, learn more at ForbesCouncils.com.